Hi chess lovers, today we want to review the Greco defense. The Greco defense was found by Mr. Gioacchino Greco in 16th century. And this defense often played by Mr. James M.C. Connell. That's why the Greco defense also called the M.C. Connell defense. And we will see the match played by Mr. Paul Morphy against Mr. James M.C. Connell in 1849. Mr. Paul Morphy starting the match with move to e4. And Mr. M.C. Connell continue to e5. And knight to f3 to threatening the pawn in e5. And most player usually will be move knight to c6 to defend the pawn in e5. But at this time, Mr. MC Connell playing the Greco defense with queen to f6 to defend the pawn in e5. So it's same purpose like knight to c6 to defend pawn in e5. Queen to f6 also want to defend pawn in e5. This defense also called the MC Connell defense. And after this, usually Mr. Morphy will move bishop to c4. The Italian game. But as we know, until today, the best move to fight the Greco defense is knight to c3. So just remember this move. If you want to fight the Greco defense, so the best way to fight the Greco defense is only knight to c3. But if you have another move to fight the Greco defense, please comment below this video. And for the best move after this, most player will move knight to c3 to avoid if pawn move to d4 so we can dominate the d4 square. And we will win in d4 square. But at this time, Mr. MC Connell not move knight to c3. But he move pawn to c3. I think this move not so really necessary in the beginning of the game. It's a question move pawn to c3. And still a lot of strong move like knight to c3. So I think in the beginning Mr. MC Connell already lost his match in this move. And we continue move to d4. As we can see if before black knight move to c3 then we can still fight in d4 square. But as we know, he moved pawn to c3. And in this move, we should defend pawn in e5 with move pawn to d6. So if pawn take pawn in e5, we can still defend with pawn take pawn in e5. But at this time, he not move pawn to d6. And actually, he move pawn take pawn in d4. And this is the best move played by Mr. Paul Morphy with move to e6, threatening the queen. And the queen have to move from f6 square. And then queen move away to g6. 
and bishop to d3 threatening the queen so we see mr morphy fish continue developing then black fish we see white fish already have a strong position and his enemy no one have a strong position we see the difference of strong player here and at last queen take pawn in g2 and rook move to g1 threatening the queen queen move to h3 and continue threatening with rook to g3 and queen go back to h5 and then threatening again with move rook to g5 and queen move to a3 again and the best move here actually we move bishop to f5 threatening the queen and queen cannot take pawn in h2 or maybe move to g2 or maybe take the knight in f6 and f3 the only he can move is move to h6 and we can move queen take pawn in d4 so we already have a strong position in here and black queen almost die in this position cannot move to any one square so we can finish the queen with move rook to g3 and bishop in c1 threatening the queen and queen will be finished in the next move and our enemy position looks like have a weak position here all piece only in his cake no one have a strong position but actually this is only analysis so now we come back to the match and actually mr morphy not move bishop to f6 but he move bishop to f1 threatening the queen and queen move to a6 and knight take pawn in d4 threatening the queen and queen go back to e7 and knight move to e4 so the best move here it should be pawn to d5 we threatening the knight if white and passan to d6 then we can move queen take knight in e4 check for the white king but actually in this match he not move pawn to d5 but he actually move pawn to h6 threatening the rook and i think the best move here we can move knight to d6 check for the king and king have to move to d8 after king move to d8 king will be cannot castle to the right or maybe castle to the left anymore but mr paul morphy not moving knight to d6 he move another knight to f5 threatening the queen and queen move to a6 we see here all black piece cannot move to any square knight 
and his bishop never move since the beginning of the game. What a game here playing by Mr. Paul Morphy. And Mr. Morphy not allowed to move. He always continues striking the queen. And at last, Mr. Morphy moved knight to d6. Check. And in my opinion, it's too late knight moved to d6. It should be before this move. Actually, knight already moved to d6. So knight will be safe in d6. Because queen will not take that knight in d6. But now we continue. Bishop take knight in d6. And knight to d6 again. Check. So in this position, king have to move to d8. And now bishop to c4, threatening the queen. And queen go back to e7. And again, knight move to f7. Check. Queen will not take knight in f7. If queen take knight in f7, it's mean that he already frustrated against Mr. Paul Morphy. And we assume he already surrender in this move. But actually he not take that knight in f7. He actually moved king to c7. And if you good in playing chess from this black position, will checkmate in six move further. Can you solve this match with thinking six move ahead? Try to be thinking for a moment until six move ahead and it will be a checkmate in six move okay we continue the match with move queen to d6 check and queen take queen in d6 and pawn take queen in d6. Check. And king cannot go back to d8. Knight in f7 already dominate the d8 square. So the only he can move only move to b6. And bishop to e3. Check. So king cannot move to anywhere, cannot go back to c7, or maybe move to a6, or even move to a5. Rook already dominate the a5 square. So the only move is pawn to c4, to block the attack. And bishop take pawn in c5. Check again. And king only can move to c6 or to a5. Let's say if he move to c6. Then knight will be moved to d8. Checkmate in 20 to move. So of course he will not move to there. And king move to a5. And rook move to g3. And pawn move to b5. To block the bishop attack. And hope g3 
king can move to a6 and we continue rook to a3 checkmate in 23 move and Mr. Paul Morphy win this game as we can see from the beginning of the game black have no time to move his piece it's always threatening since the beginning of the game no time to take a break for a moment and what a nice move and we can duplicate this move against our enemy in playing chess and your enemy will be amazed to see your move and thank you for watching this video please subscribe and like and see you in the next video bye bye